Hi, right, welcome to Ark Survival Evolved, Lost Island Edition, and we're continuing where we left off as soon as we can. Same process. I don't even remember if I looked around here, but I do see a 135 mag. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, uh, that's not. I thought it was a jellyfish. All right, so I think yes, we're going in that direction. And I think there's probably some food in here or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you see that? I accidentally fell in there. I'm so silly. I'm trying to see what was in here. There's some meat. Uh, got Meg. Another Meg. So it looks like there's nothing here but Megs. I don't see any Basiliosaurus. Remember, we're still hunting Basiliosaurus. Let's just keep going. We've got a little island there by itself. Guns are still on. All right, let's uh, turn this off. Still got to repair it when I get a chance. Megadon 55, it's the, uh, this looks pretty shallow. It's not too, not too deep here. Uh, yep, I think we'll go down here and we'll check this out right now. Let's see what's going on here. Let me dump and then get on there and then put this on, put that on and let's check it out. Uh, there's a 55 meg, a couple of little sharks. Remember, we're only looking for Basiliosauruses. We're not really looking for anything else. I already got enough high level Megalodons for Megadons, I'm just going to do a quick consolidation because they're not the preferred animal. Last time we got a 145 Basiliosaur. The stats weren't that great on it. I got to admit, it just they, they, they weren't that great. Um, we got a couple of level 90, a 90 and a 95 Basiliosaur I'm thankful for, but uh, it just uh, it just wasn't a lot. It wasn't that good. So I'm looking for a Basiliosaur. Those are just regular white pearls. Nothing fantastic. Yeah, just white pearls. Silica pearls. I'm just going to screw around down here. Need to get some food on my animal. take uh, one of these little fish. There's another one. There we go. Now I think I've been in this part of the ocean before. Remember it has lots of pearls, just white silica pearls, and it's really deep. And it kind of goes off in a, in a huge slant. You see it's, it's all downhill. It's like a huge downhill slant. Oh look, my friend a jellyfish. My favorite my favorite little shits in the sea. And they are the reason why I'm going for a Basiliosaur. If there were no jellyfish and there were no uh, electro electric, eating, electric eels, I would probably just do a Megadon and fuck it, you know. Megadon, Megadon. Lots of Megalodons. Lots of jellyfish there. I don't know if I'll find a Basiliosaur, but... Um, know what 
that is. Trilobites. Trilob trilobites. That's like a Megazone 25. So, I don't know how far this goes. I'm pretty sure that it's pretty damn deep. My only concern is to hopefully not run into anything I can't handle. I mean, something significant. And I don't mean a Megalodon that I can eat or outrun. Maybe an Alpha Megalodon. Uh, stats. The stats on these things, for some reason, they're just, just so shitty. Okay, now, here's the border of the ocean. This is the edge of the map. And normally, at the edge of maps, they put things that are big. In my experience, they put things that are big. Let's see. Let's follow this down here. Sometimes you might get something significantly big. Um, eh. And that's why I'm glad I got access to polymer to make special equipment. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything good here. Nothing really useful. Uh, at least over there, there was those pladeos pladeosaurs, those really long ones. Those are interesting, but... I still wouldn't want a water base with one of those on there unless, I mean, you could park the base and then try to take it somewhere, but damn, you know, it's, it's, oh, there's some of those little bastards. Okay, I think I went too far back, but uh, it's interesting to see the edge of the map here. All right, so let's go out over here, back over here and see where we are here. Mm -hmm. Now that one's nice, it's got a 30 melee, which is good. So let's get back. I think it went pretty far around. Yeah, I came down here one time with the Megalodon and collected a shitload of those pearls. It's just so many of them. Of course, that's when the, the map was fairly new. Even though I did do a dino wipe, and, you know, there was you know, hardly anything down here at all at the time. Well, I'm hoping I can make my way back to where I came from somehow. Yeah, so we're back up the hill. <sighs> no Basiliosauruses at home. Okay, I think my boat's up ahead somewhere. Probably past all those islands or something. I think I recognize this. This is where the last Basiliosaur was. The high level one was over here in this hole. Huh. Okay. I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm supposed to go this way. I remember going around these islands. I'm out of food already. Shit. I didn't know I was going to be out of food. Let's see. There's my boat. Okay. 
I keep forgetting to see if I can get blue crystal somewhere. You see there, that looks like a black pearl, but it's not. It's a white pearl. All right, let's get out of here. There we go. All right. So let's take a look at the map. Supposed to be going that direction. Could go this direction technically, but that's just more desert over there. Uh, I think we'll go that direction. We'll just keep going around. Might get lucky. Obby's over there. All right, let's see what we got here. Shallow, shallow, shallow. Man. Wow, this is the best thing to use to harvest trilobites. Damn, too bad I uh, don't really need them. I know where the black pearls are. Oh! Oh, it's a 50. Shit. Looks like we'll have to kill it so it can respawn something different. Let's kill this 50. It's shallow water. Come back when you're 150. The sad thing is I know these things can attack you back, but it's not doing it for some reason. There we go. We got the blubber. Got the blubbers. I got the blubbers, ma'am. Okay, ship's over there. I got lucky there. At least I got some blubber out of it. But we just keep looking for something high level. Uh, this is more black pearls. Or not black pearls, fake black pearls. Yeah, 
Good thing about this is if I ever need pearls, I know what map to come to and where to go get them. You know, just regular pearl. I can get all the pearl I want. I probably made some of the highest level uh, riot gear in creation. <laughs> okay, so far... So good, not much. It's going back here. I'm going to dip down as much as I can and follow it back over there. See if there's anything down here. Okay, so... Ooh, it's a cave. I wonder if this is where the other Basilosaur was. They all look the same after a while. All these caves look almost exactly the same. Those are more pearls. Damn it. That one little fish down here, all by itself. One little fish. Okay. Trilobites. Trilobites. Alright, let's see if we can make our way back around this little mountain here. Or this thing. Isn't that cool looking? Look, that's a cool looking shark. More or less, if it wasn't trying to eat me. Okay. I'm a little confused. Let me try to unconfuse. I was going the wrong way. That's what was going on. Oh shit. Can I get over there? Yeah, I gotta be careful because... There could be jellyfish just, just under the shoreline. Uh-huh. Okay. I went back. Let me go forward a bit. Is that level, what, 55, 60? Let me 
really sing very much here at all. Should be grateful I got the blubber. <laughs> I was hoping to be something with those mantas there, but I guess not. Do, 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 do. Isn't it amazing? I, I'm doing all this shit with this uh, one Megalodon. Uh, 135 Megalodon I just so happened to have in the area there. Isn't that funny as hell? It's not a 150. It's nothing fantastic. It's just a little bit of leveling. And it's tamed, and I can do all this. Get a whole underwater thing going. Okay. So I'm going to go back around this way and try to find my boat again. It's probably on this side. I don't think I run out of water, will I? I think so. Where's my boat? God damn it. Where is my boat? I know it is around here somewhere. There it is. <gasps> Look, another bassy. Oh, it's just a 60. Oh, shit. All right. Uh. doing 250 to them they're doing like nothing to me and the only reason they're doing so much damage is because I don't have a good saddle you know there we go that's it let's get some blubber if you don't kill these lower level ones you will never get a high level one that's for sure Try to do this. Okay. I'll drop that. Okay. I'm going to try to make it over there to the boat and see if I can preserve some of this oil so I can make more gas. Because that's a lot of oil just to kind of blow off. I mean, that's a thousand. should be able to S plus transfer it over. But this guy wants some level 20 wants some attention. Alright, there we go. Enough of that. I should be able to get that taken care of. Because uh, I, I personally don't like to waste good oil if I don't have to. Okay, get that off of him. 
All right, so I think that's all we needed. We're going to go ahead and do that. What else did he have on him? We got some hide. Okay, that's fine. One of my guns took damage. I almost couldn't believe it. All because it wasn't the damn electric. The electric thing got electric eel got too close. Oh man! All right, let's just do this. Oh no, that goes downstairs. Put that there. All right, now we have sixteen of that. Oops. All right. I guess we'll just continue on. It's so bright out here. Can't see shit. God, that's so bright. There we go. Now I can at least see where the land is. That's not too bad, you know. What's happening is I kill something and a little while afterwards it respawns. Or it spawns something else, shall I say. Okay, now this is where that leads was last time. That's why I'm so surprised that it, you know, I killed it with the wyvern. I was just so surprised that uh, it was even there, you know. Let's see, what do we got here? Anything useful? Some HT, I don't see anything. Well, we'll go ahead and explore a little bit and see what we find. I put the light back up all the way. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's really a chasm down here of unknown. It's a no. Now the only good thing is it's not as bad as the island. I'm uh, not the island. The um, well, the island's pretty bad, but Rag, it's got some silly shit down here, like Tuso's. Uh, it's got those other two big fish. I forgot what they're called. The Plesiosaur and the Mosa. It's got those as well. So far, all I've seen are Megalodons and all this other piddly little shit down here. Doesn't do anything. I couldn't even say it's decoration because you can't see half of it. I like Floor Jorn underwater better. I think they designed it better than this underwater thing. Just my opinion. Because there's just so much more down there than here. Here it just seems so plain. I don't understand. It's not too much of an appeal, is what I'm saying. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Just gonna move forward. Let's go forward. All right, or I 
30 minutes in. We move forward. Uh, nothing there. Go around this little peninsula. Be interesting to put something here, though, when you think about it. Because look how far in it is. It's it's pretty far in. Let me explore this a little bit. I don't think I've really... Look at that peninsula. That'd be nice to put a base there. Get on speedy. Okay. Let's uh, put speedy up. Likes to go up in speed. Huh. Interesting. Look at that. It's got a lot of land, but it's all mostly submerged. We have a land bridge here along the beach. Uh, interesting. See too many animals at all, but not a much surface area. Hmm. It's my favorite goddamn bird hate those fucking things. Well, this thing has some big world rocks in the way. If they, they, These world rocks were not being used as makeshift mountains. This thing might be actually pretty nice to build a base here. Because what you do is you just, like for example, all this land can be taken. You just have to raise everything above the water line. Once you raise it above the water line using stilts or whatever, you're good to go. You can literally have a, a base here, but uh, it's too too much of it is shallow. You know, too much is shallow. Yeah, it's too shallow. So yeah, we'll just keep going. But it's nice because it's like in the middle between the desert and the obby. That's the one good thing. I don't know what I ran over, but I, I ran over something. All right, let's go dark again. All right, so let's go over here. What I need to do is find out where the blue crystal is. If I can't get blue crystal here, I can't have a flight suit. You know, I'm used to getting a flight suit done. Matter of fact, I should have gone and done that on my other server. Uh, there was the leads there. Was as in past tense. Oh shit, wrong, wrong one. That's not the one I was trying to get. There we go. I'll have to get my bird in a second. 
For now, let me go cook this raw prime fish meat. There we go. There we go, there we go. We'll go get Mr. Bird in a second. Aha, uh -huh. so the bird did land by itself. Shit. Who knew? All right. So, once again, a leads is never wasted on my watch. It's going this way. Yeah, I heard those guns popping off and I was like, shit, I better not stop. See, I told you that this is where one of the leads were last time, and I had to eat it with my wyvern. Okay. Alright, so I'm out of the area. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll do some more of this exploration. And once again, I did it again. Come here, baby. There we go. There we go. Daddy screwed up. There we go. Let's do this right this time. Okay. This time we have the right one. And this time we're going to increase that. Hard to see underwater without light. Okay, anything useful? Big seaweed. I wonder what's at the bottom of the big seaweed. Ah, it's a big giant crack next to the big giant seaweed. And I go down and I go down and I go down. And there's something there. It's a Mechleon thing. Oh, they have these on Floor Jorn. I didn't think we had any on this this map. I found one. I found one. Ooh, they're so peaceful. You can build a base on their backs. Isn't that great? Isn't that isn't that fantastic? I gotta try gas mask when I get a chance. There's Matchley on 90. 
They like to chase these things around. They like to mess with them. Oh, there's two of them right there. Hey. Oh, shit. Is that a... Oh, that's a fucking Tuso. Oh, <laughs> that's a fucking Tuso. I found a Tuso spawn point. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's after me. <laughs> shit. Son of a bitch. I might lose this team. I might lose this team. I might lose this team. Oh my god. Those sons of bitches are fast when they want to be. Oh shit. I might make it. I might make it. Run, motherfucker. <laughs> crow, you, crow your ass. <laughs> That son of a bitch will reach up right there and eat your tame right in front of you while you are powerless to do anything about it. Okay. There's a plesiosaur down there too. I don't know if they get aggressive, but I don't know how to tame them. I think you have to make a trap just like an RG, but a big one. A big trap. Son of a bitch. Gotta remember this on my map. Whew. Damn, that scared the shit out of me. That was a good level, too. That son of a bitch would have ripped my animal apart. It's right outside the uh, green obby, right out here. So it looks like this is where the two sows and there's some platiosaurs out here. And this is not too far from base. Now, two so. What you do to tame a two so is you put black pearls in your hot bar. And then you go and you feed it while it's attacking something. So you blood sacrifice one of your Megadons that I have not bred yet. <laughs> you have to sacrifice one of those and then you can go ahead and do that. Damn. Anyway, let's uh, move on here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Shit, man. I got lots of repairs to do and shit. Got to repair that gun. Got to repair my scuba equipment. There we go. Got to repair my scuba equipment. And um, that's it. I don't think we'll ever tame a plesiosaur. I don't, I don't know what, what I would need those for. I mean, you could put a back... You could put a, a small base on the back of one, but... And you're basically just putting a metal box on it, and I don't even think a generator will work underwater once you submerge. Um, I don't know what what I don't need. I got I gotta. You know what? That's an interesting subject. I think I'm gonna have to research that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to research that. Okay. All right. Now, two so. I think two so's are also immune to the uh, things there. Let's see. Let's see. Turn off. Let's see if we can do this real quick. I don't think anything followed me around. I don't see anything here. Okay, that's not too bad. You see how I just hauled ass out of there? Over there on Rag, and I did, I did make a video on it. It's not a specific video, it's just something I did to get the uh, artifact of the strong I don't know what it was some artifact I went ahead and um, I went to the Tuso spawn point and I parked the boat that I had at the time right above it it was more like a raft or was it I think it was a raft I don't know so I parked it there and uh 
I went down. It's a, you go straight down to the bottom where the artifact is. It's next to a, sh a sunken ship. You go down there. You grab the artifact and you go up. Well, I went down there. I grabbed the artifact, came back up. Everything was fine. There was literally nothing in the area. Then I go and I put the artifact away in a box and I go back down. And lo and behold, I did have guns on the on the boat on all sides, but they were set up to shoot everything that moves. So anything that went up there was going to die. So I was safe up there. But I went back down. There was still nothing around. I said, oh, awesome. Maybe I'll be able to get another artifact. Well, I went down. I dismounted to go grab the artifact. And as I dismounted, right in front of me, one of those two souls manifest and it grabbed my tame. And so I couldn't leave my tame down there and I couldn't go vertical without my without my uh, mount. I mean, it was too far down. It was super deep, the bottom of the ocean. So I said to myself, well, I got to get this back. I don't know what's going on, but I got to get it back. And so I mounted on the Tuso, and not the Tuso, I mounted the, the Megalodon, and I chewed on the Tuso, and somehow or another I got free. Somehow I got free, and I got out of there. And I barely managed to make it out of there. I didn't get the artifact but that time, but uh, sure enough, uh, that was a hell of an experience. <laughs> okay. Turn that off. Uh, I think I'm too close to land. I'm going to have to move it. I'm too close to land. That's a little bit better. There we go. Man, oh man, that was a hell of a thing. Oh boy. Let's see, how are you doing in here? Getting some meat jerky, beef jerky. Let's see. Okay, get that off. All right, so it looks like the veggies are being developed. So later on, I'll be able to make some uh, some cool stuff, like some bug repellent, so I can tame a mantis and shit like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. I just don't want it getting stuck on the land. <sighs> now, let's see if I have any poly left over here. No. I need poly and various other elements to repair that. Yeah, I think only one gun took damage. That's not too bad. Electronics, metal, CP, and poly. 
Okay. Let's check all the guns. That's good. That's good. And that's good. Okay, so far so good. That's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. And this is still good, right? Because these electronic little pads, they're so delicate. They're the first things that the animals will attack if it's on the ground level. They will take these things out, you know, just to be dicks. So, let's repair that. I might have some poly in here. Uh, behemoth. Need that behemoth gate. I do have poly here, so I got some poly. Uh, that's too much. I've got, well, matter of fact, I need electronics. No, nope, that's not electronics. Uh, what was that? Metal electronics. Was it crystal? Let me see. I should be able to look up the turret and tell. Auto turret, you need CP. CP, metal, poly. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get that fixed. I'm going to have to expend my water pen because now I'm starting to work with Basiliosauruses. So I'm going to have to make a pen just for them so that they can, uh, you know, frolic. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. No electronics. Shit. Shit. Let me check over here. I don't know where I would have any. I mean, they, electronics can be anywhere, really. Uh, shit. Let's see if there's any here. Yes. I think I just need two. It's repaired 3,000 out of 3,000. So one of the guns got scratched, basically, is what it amounts to. And now, to repair the scuba gear, I'll have to bring it all down here, unfortunately. Let's, um, let's do this, though. Let's, because I need to make some behemoth gates. There's that. And i uh, bring this up here. There we go. Uh, I should be able to get this poly here. There. That's all the poly I've got. Hopefully that's enough to repair the equipment. We'll find out. I should have put a ramp on the side of these things. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay. That one's clean. Let's do this. Put that there. That has to be repaired. This should be repaired too. Uh, repair. 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 That's all of them. Got a lot of weight on me. I'm um, not using these. I only use the arrows and the crossbows for underwater. And I can repair this later. I 
Okay, so now that I'm back at the main base, let me turn this back on. Um, I can go ahead and repair the equipment I use to try to get the Basiliosauruses. So now the goal is to make some more behemoth gates. I found one laying around. Um, but I gotta see what else I can find. I have to pick a patch of water and put them in there. It's a baryonyx. I forgot I have these baryonyx here that I need to breed. But I could just hold off on that for a second. Let's go ahead and repair this equipment. All this is needs repairs. Let's see. Turn that on. Repair. 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 It's just eating up the polymer, but that's what it's there for. Repair. Repair. It won't let me repair that. Need pearls. Somehow I don't have pearls in here. And chitin. Okay. I know I have pearls somewhere. There we go. Now chitin. Okay, so we'll repair this. Yeah. So I got all this done. So I can put that back. And there's another generator. I don't know. I knew I had another generator somewhere. Anyway, so far everything's pretty good. Check the gas level over here. Plenty of gas there. Good. Uh, do, 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 do. everything seems to be fine. The garden's fine. They just harvested it. I repaired my scuba equipment. I have the baryonyx I want to breed, but you know, in all honesty, I don't. I I want some more samples. I don't just want those two. I mean, those are good samples. They're complementary, but I still want something better if possible. Let's see. Alright, put that equipment away. We're doing great. And these, these have to be put away. Now I am ready to breed uh, some sharks, but that's it. sweetness okay all right so I have to get dressed again go all right that was so far a very successful initial uh, tour of the area I thought that was something weird anyway so that was a nice successful tour of the area got quite a few animals got a one high level 145 but I, I don't like the stats on it I just don't like the stats they're okay I think we could do better like 23 damage I mean honestly 
there's a level 90 here that has one point less damage. So anyway, it, it's it's okay. It's going to have better stats than the lower level ones, but still. I want to find an, uh, a high level female. That's why I kept killing them. I got enough to of these to breed. Megadons. So that's what I have to do now. So now I have to come up with a water pen to start uh, the breeding process. So for now, uh, since I know I'm going to put these in there separate, uh, put that there, put this stuff here, this is going to be, see, Megalodon, I don't know if I got any more, oh, those are Megatherium, those Megatherium are pretty good, actually, 35 and 26, and then Health is 30 here. Health is 35. The female's got better stats. He has better weight. And she has better stam. I mean, she's good. Technically, I could just consolidate these two properly and then come up with something. Can't believe I'm back to my original name, Soto. Uh, and I haven't achieved anything here with this guy. Haven't killed enough alphas. Okay, so this water pen is not going to work anymore. It's too small. I mean... I could try, but it's just it's just too small. Let me think here. Let's get on speedy real quick. Alright, speedy. See the problem with this little island it, it doesn't dip down. You would prefer something that dips down radically. Here this dips down a little bit on this side pretty radically but there's a bunch of shit in the way just like rocks and crap um, this has got another island next to it this has more rocks and crap and seaweed yeah this is a pretty dirty area here now this little patch here is a little bit cleaner further out this way uh, it's a little bit cleaner. Oh shit, I forgot to bring my... Yeah, you see, it's a little bit cleaner here. Probably be better off just putting the gates out there. Taking some deeper water for the purposes of uh, breeding space, you know. That's what I would think anyway. Hmm. Ooh, it's so fast. It's the fastest RG in Ark. Look at that. He's so fast, it's scary. I'm thinking. I'd be better off getting Robin because Robin's a good weight bird and harvesting some stone and all that stuff. Oh, it's an Ovis. I don't have any sweet cakes. Some raptors out there. Okay. Now, another thing I have to do besides 
get behemoth gates to make a water pan that doesn't suck uh, and do it in a place where it's less congestion like on this side here if I park it here how deep does it go oh man you get all that shit in the way I have to harvest not harvest but get rid of all that shit put foundations down to, to get this thing uh, I don't know about that. Uh, doesn't look like this is a good place for a water tank. A water pen, after all. I'm wondering if I should just move base. You know, most of my stuff's on that thing. Except for, like, property. Like, things that I'm just carrying. With this S+, plus, I can pick up all this stuff and just move it somewhere else. Hmm. Something to consider. I miss the old-fashioned days where if you wanted to put a base down, you just needed to f find a relatively flat piece of land that was big enough for your needs. But since I got into water tames and all that, I'm always looking for a, a piece of beach land. Now, technically, that beach over there is pretty good, especially in the parts that have a sudden drop-down. As long as it doesn't drop down more than a behemoth gate. As long as it doesn't go deeper than a behemoth gate. It's perfect for a water pen. If it doesn't have any obstructions that, you know, like world rocks and things like that. It's even better. So, bottom line. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Excuse me. The Sarko. I need a better pterodon saddle. The one I have sucks. I know I have a like a ramshackle one. Here it is. 49. It's basically almost double or double a, a regular saddle, which sucks. That's what I'm saying. What I want to do, uh, besides consolidation of the Basileo, well, not the Basileo Soul right now, because I'm not going to do underwater caving anytime soon without a good, strong, leveled and imprinted Basleosaur that doesn't suck, you know? Something that I could potentially mutate, but it's just consolidated. Same thing with the sharks. The sharks are just looking for something better than the one you're on. Because uh, you do maybe at one point want to try to kill an alpha on your own. Maybe not a high level alpha, like a 20 or 30 by yourself you're going to want something better than what I'm on right now. So, and the Baryonyx, I really should hold off on the Baryonyx, but we'll see what happens. What I'm going to do, uh, this we're already in an hour and nine minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start seeing some of the, the caving videos on Floor Join. I was supposed to do that research, but I didn't do it my bad um, and see if we can uh, pick a cave and do that and come up with a stratagem now for this particular server like I said this is my personal server this is my basically my computer is a server and essentially I turned off or turned on cave flying so I can fly into any cave get what I need and get out without too much of a fight unless a bat gets me or you know something dismounts me in which case you still want to take uh, grapple hooks and uh, you know uh, what's it, I forgot what it's called that anti-venom stuff you know you want to take healing brews you want to take equipment with you just in case you want to take an extra bird or something with you just in case so that's why the pterodons since most of those caves are probably going to be, you know, above ground, not underwater, 
I'd probably want to emphasize more on the pterodons than anything else. So the thing I have to do is I have to go in here and get all the pterodons that I have here and I have to consolidate the shit out of them. I have to go in here and figure out what's good, what's bad. Like here's Alien, oh man, Aliens. Poor thing. <laughs> it's one of the first ones I got. Um, and I'll go here and I'll pick and choose which ones have the high stats. And I'll, I'll come up with that. Because, and like I said, oxygen really doesn't matter. What matters is attack, which in this case it's a 40 attack, which is good. Here's a 41. You see what I'm saying? 46. So I got to figure out where the highest attacks are. Highest health, stamina, food, yes. You want high food if you can get it. Because you want the animal to be able to con continuously regenerate. Even if there's nothing around to eat, you want it to have a high food. It can keep healing. Um, oxygen doesn't matter. It'll just reject the water. Um, speed has always been nerfed. It doesn't even count. Yeah, they nerfed that shit. So anyway, so priority breeding uh, with mutations. I do want to do a mutation line with the pterodons. I always wanted a super powerful pterodon just to see what the hell it can do. Just to have it, you know, over there on the Supreme Arc server, everything is completely boosted. So when I was running around on a pterodon that was just imprinted and bred between you know, just a male and female of a high level. I mean, that son of a bitch, it took a long time to get him killed. It took a long time. That son of a bitch lasted a long time, especially since he had a good saddle. So, I... I it, it's an impressive thing. The barrel roll of that animal does so much damage, and then you throw mutations on top of it. It's going to do even more damage. So... And then, of course, on this server, the breeding is boosted. For example, if I turn these two on and I just set them to breed, they would just dish out egg after egg after egg, and they would just not stop. They would just not stop. Yeah. Hmm. Haven't gotten another egg like them lately. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I got some thinking to do. I'm going to do some research, figure out where I want to start. But I do know the pterodons are next on the list to get consolidated and, and uh, fixed up. So, yeah. Man, would I give her a good, cons a good uh, pterodon saddle blueprint, man. Those have got to be... I mean, you have a better chance of getting one of those on the on rag, I think, than anywhere else. But it's a common creature. The pterodons are literally everywhere. Pterodons are the same places as raptors, more or less. They're everywhere. So technically, you should be able to get a pterodon saddle blueprint of variable quality pretty much anywhere. And it, you just, but for at the same token, I I I have a better chance of getting a raptor. Then I do a pterodon saddle, which is kind of funny. So, I'm also going to study this map, and I'm going to try to figure out how to tame a plesiosaur. That doesn't mean I'll do it, but I'm going to look into how to do it. I've tamed two souls before, uh, over there on a Twisted Server Cluster, and those two souls were a heck of a challenge. But it isn't too bad. You know, you just got to feed them the black pearl. And they love it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Take a little break. Relax. Chill out. Have a nap. Thank you for watching. Take care. Until the next episode.